Hi, it's Marvin. Let's talk about some of the hidden features of the app. So the first thing about the app is you can use your own navigation programs with it. If you notice next to the start travel button, there's a small icon, looks like a square with an arrow pointing out. This lets you send your destination to another program. So on my phone, I've got Apple Maps, Google Maps and Waze built in. Um, I tend to use Waze because it seems to be better at being updated about traffic situations and road closures and things. So I tend to use Waze for longer journeys then switch back to the Amazon app when I get close to the final destination. Has your app lost its voice? On the main map screen, if you press the screen, you'll get a few extra options down the bottom. One of them is the speaker icon. You can use this to mute the voice and unmute as well. There's also the list icon that will give you directions as a list and then the resume button to carry on driving. If you do use your own navigation app, make sure you press start travel on the Amazon app as well, because then that updates your location if anybody needs to track you, like the customers. We've all had it when the app sends you to the wrong location, it's a new build, it sends you to the middle of nowhere instead. If you use the feedback section, you can correct the pin location before you leave the correct address. So you go to feedback, into the menu, um, the address is wrong and then it gives you a map of where it thinks it is. If you're still there you press the little arrow icon on the bottom right and it will move the pin to where you are now and then you can just submit it and hopefully it'll update for the next time someone gets sent there. Asking for an adjustment through the app. If you go over your scheduled block time use the app to send an email to support to request for an adjustment. All you do is you go into the earnings tab find the block that you had the problem with press report a problem and then if your phone is set up to do emails you'll get an email template that you can fill in fill it in with as much detail as possible the date and time of the block and then why you were late and i always like to put in there you can see when i did my last delivery because they track you all the time um so and then they tend to pay you up until that time Think like a computer when you request an adjustment. If it's only 15 minutes, you may not get it. If it's half an hour or an hour, you're more likely to get it as it's a bigger segment of a block. Any adjustments you get should also be at any enhanced rate for the block. In the settings menu, you can change your car type. This is good to keep up to date if you have a different car because they generally work out the blocks by the size of your car. My car's class is large, so you often get larger parcels when you do logistics. Another section in the settings menu lets you view your insurance that's supplied by Zurich for Amazon. Uh, you can use this to show that you're insured while you're doing Amazon deliveries. Make sure your phone doesn't go into do not disturb when you're driving. Some phones do it automatically when they're on Bluetooth. Watch out for this, because if you're on do not disturb mode and you ring driver support or you try and contact a customer, the calls won't come back to you. They go straight to your voicemail and you'll wonder why your phone didn't ring. So double check your do not disturb settings. One other thing that's worth doing is downloading the offline maps. These allow you to navigate even if you don't have a signal. So it's worth downloading the map for your area. That's it. For the hidden apps features give me a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you want some more hints and tips catch you later